everyone welcome back to my channel so today i'll be taking you guys with me to lab i'm currently in the dorm so i have to bike over to the chemistry building but i'm really excited i have a full list of things to do today um, <laughs> At the beginning of each day in the office space, my mentor always writes my experiment list that needs to be done before the end of the day is complete. So in our office space, I'll begin suiting up for lab. Um, we have a personal protective equipment that we must wear while we're actively at the bench. Once I'm actually at the bench, I'll put on the rest of my protective gear. This includes my lab coat, my gloves, and of course, safety goggles. keep the environment sterile that we're working at on the bench top is with a flame and this is typically standard for a lot of the experiments I'll do where a flame needs to be present to keep the entire environment sterile that I'll be working in. just to sterilize it before I close it up for the day. And in addition to making the media in the presence of a sterile environment, I will also be filter sterilizing it with this syringe and that just gives it the extra layer of defense against anything that could be floating around in the lab and just really ensuring that it's a sterile solution that is being made. In addition to the flame and the filter sterilization, I will also be adding a number of antibiotics to the solution and this just increases that layer of sterilization and helps the cells really grow in a resistant space that doesn't allow contaminants to enter as easily. And of course I'll be sealing this with the flame like I did with the previous bottle. So here my mentor is just showing me a cyanobacteria plate and that's the experiment that I'll be moving on to now. So essentially I'll be creating a plate like he just showed me and I will of course need a sterile environment, hence the flame, and that green solution there is cyanobacteria. So right now I'm taking the pH of the solution 
and once the ph is taken i'll clean the ph probe well it's not really a probe ph measuring device and put everything back i will also be spinning down the cells in this centrifuge and then once they are suspended in solution again i will plate them onto this auger plate like you saw earlier and there's my plate hopefully it gets dark green like the other ones that have been there for a while and now i'm taking the cyanobacteria back to the incubator that will hold it until the next day and here i will put all the samples back and turn on the incubator shaker and let them live happily in peace until i go and disturb them the next day so because i had an experiment running when i went on my lunch break i could only get in line for one thing so i got this mongolian bowl and it was so good So the experiment I needed to get back to was my PCR in the thermocycler because the results of this will determine if the rest of my experiment can proceed. So now I'm setting up for a gel and hopefully the gel will have the results I need in order for me to proceed on my experiment. So here I'm running the gel and essentially this sends electrical currents and the gel sits inside in a solution and those bubbles you see are proof that it's running an electrical current and once it's done I'll take the gel out of the solution and I'll put it over a UV light which is here and we need a protective shield to shield our eyes from the harsh UV lights so I'll put over this little cute case and then turn on the light you don't want to turn it on before you put the case on and then I'll open it for my results and yay it worked those two bands that you see in lanes two and three prove that my PCR was successful So here I'm just picking up where my mentor started. Um, he had to go off and handle a few things. So I will be concluding the isobutanol maintenance for the day. And that's me labeling everything and putting it in its respective box. And then I'll take it over to the fridge to preserve it until we need it for data analysis. So the PCR that we just saw earlier in the video needs to be cleaned and concentrated in order for me to use the DNA template in my next experiment. So once I've cleaned it, I will put it onto this plate to get a reading of its exact concentration. And I'm just pipetting it onto the plate carefully because it is a very small volume. And once I'm done, I'll take it over to the plate reader and get the results. So here's the plate reader. I put the plate in there and it's gonna close in and read the plate for me and then it's gonna give me my results here and those numbers are beautiful and the ratio is perfect so I can proceed to CRISPR. So here's my CRISPR protocol for transformation and this is by far the longest experiment that I do in lab. It is lots of waiting and lots of essentially back and forth throughout the lab through the machinery. So those are the cells that I'll be working with. And of course I'll need a sterile environment. So there's my flame. And essentially what you'll see proceeding through this video for the remainder is me working on this one experiment. And it's just gonna be a whole bunch of washes of the cells and then 
putting them in the incubator to grow for an hour and then coming back and plating them later. So yeah, just enjoy me pipetting on 2x speed and centrifuging to get my cells concentrated. Here's the centrifuge, so I'll be back and forth from my bench in here working with the cells until I get them in the right position in order to incubate them and then plate them on an auger plate to grow some colonies.
So here is the one of the last steps of this experiment. Um, this is electroporation device, and essentially it will send a shock to the sh to the cells in order to allow the membrane to weaken so that the plasmid can enter in. And so right now I'm loading the solution in to the cuvette and I will clean it to get any residual water off from the ice. And now I'm getting ready to shock it. So I just shocked it and it did not work. I got a spark. So I will have to redo that one, which is no biggie. I always make extra solution on the side. So now I'm just gonna move on to the next one and hope for the best. So here is the second attempt. I'm wiping off the cuvette once again, putting it in, getting ready in case it works. Yay, it worked. So now I need to hurry up and recover the cells in the media that I have set aside. So that concludes today's video. If you like today's content and vlog, please give me a thumbs up in the comment and don't forget to subscribe. I really enjoyed my time today in lab and I hope that you guys will continue to follow me along on this journey as a researcher. Bye!